advancing towards the leading and dining. Towards my left, what you see is the living area. Uh, the flooring is the old flooring which we have uh, just repolished. We have just gone for mirror polishing because the marble was in a good condition. There were a few patches, like for example, there were a few, I mean, especially this area, the tile of the marble was broken. So, this entire patch is new and this patch is new. So, this marble was uh, not in a good condition. There were a lot of cracks, which even by polishing, like even by filling, crack filling, and polishing would have in a good option. So it is only this patch of marble which is new, but the rest entire marble is the old one. So the challenge was to you know match with the old Makarana what we had and uh, I have succeeded in matching the nearest one. So as such there is uh, no problem, I mean uh, it was not a very big problem for me to match the shape of the marble because the grains if you see the entire flooring, the entire grains which are used in the flooring are all different. It is not having a particular grain. So that was an advantage for me. So I could have a successful in getting a patch of marble which was you know somehow complementing with the marble which was there. So flooring is the old marble, only the patch of marble floor is a new one. But we had gone for entire mineral polish for the marble uh, flooring to give that you know enhancement in the flooring area. Uh, now the wall here, uh, the entire electrical what we have done here is new. So there was earlier there was no provision for the TV uh, as such over here. So I bought for an exclusive provision for a TV switch and socket. So only the socket over here and a provision for an HDMI, uh, HDMI cable in case there are some requirements. So that cable could be just thrown away from this part and can just come from the bottom. So like for example when you have your PlayStation or when you have some other gadgets which requires an HDMI output. So that becomes easier the connectivity from the TV and the connectivity from the console becomes a very easier one. So this uh, switchboard takes care of the TV unit uh, requirements. This takes care of the TV. Now when I was doing this, because I had to have the electrical conducting done here, my wall was giving, I mean the finish of the wall was not, because uh, I was not going to go for any wall panning over here. So there were some conduits which, the, some traces of the conducting which was still evident in uh, finishing which I didn't want it. So I wanted to either go for a wallpaper or I wanted to go something in the paint. Uh, wallpaper I personally avoided because it is on tenancy. So many a times you know the tenant keeps on changing. So uh, removal of TV or removal of any other appliances, the paper, the paper maintenance becomes a nuisance. Uh, because you know like sometimes the lease is for 11 months, sometimes for 2 years or sometimes it's a long lease. So if it is a long lease it's not a problem but when it is a short lease the maintenance of wallpaper would have been a challenge. So that is how I have gone for the sponging effect. I did go for metallic sponge because costing was, the budgeting was the main constraint in this flat. So I have just gone for regular paint. Uh, the two tones which you see here, one is absolute white and the other uh, top, if you see the greenish tinge what you see here is a virgin mountain shade which is also by Asian paint. So I have gone for entire plastic paint. I have not gone for any sheen or any uh, matte or any uh, royal uh, paint quality. The paint which is used here is completely plastic paint. Now this effect of sponging is also there in the ceiling because I have not gone I, because the entire ceiling is green plaster. Uh, there were a lot of undulations which was there in the ceiling. So since fall ceiling was completely skipped off this project, I had gone for a sponging effect in the ceiling to take care of the undulations which were there in the ceiling. Now focusing on the lights, I have just gone for surface lights. If you just see the lights here, they are the surface lights. Uh, there is a provision of fat and apart from that the lighting is very minimal because uh, the client was not very keen having too many light points. So that is how uh, we have just gone for basic things which are required for a flat. Uh, basic, uh, all the electricals or the other requirements also are in sync with the requirements from the tenancy point of view. So I have completed the ceiling part, I have explained you about the lighting provision, I have explained you about the wall effects. Now the other side of the wall, which is the seating wall, I wanted some uh, design element in this area. So I have just gone for veins coating, but the material which I have used here for ornamentation is a PVC material. So this is the PVC uh, putty, this is also a PVC material. These are the uh, rafters which
which are done by HDHM, HDHMR plywood. So this is a combination of HDHMR and PVC ornamentation. So you see there are the uh, columns which is there in the same style and the rest is followed by HDHMR. Uh, here I have used the columns which is through and through running through the entire length of the wall. Again the same pattern is repeated. Uh, paint has gone for absolute white. I have purposely kept this just plain white. I, because there is a texture in the ceiling, on the ceiling and on the front wall, I wanted this to be had like you know more complete. So that is how the arrangement for this wall was designed. And uh, moving ahead, this is the wall which is like uh, has the window, the entire window for the living area. So window is new. I have gone for the advertised uh, window over here, which has three glass, three glass plus one musky window. So it's a four flat window with three glass panes and one has a musky. Uh, the framing of the window is again uh, in granite and marble. It is again the two track framing which we have done so that the water doesn't leak inside the flat or inside the living area. It is the two frame, two rooms of framing which we have done. So the marble, uh, thick marble which is used is again uh, for the area which is going to be covered by the track and the visible area we have got for black granite. So this wall again has a provision for AC. So the electrical of the AC, the computing and everything has been taken care of. So whichever tenant, whenever they come, they just have to get their ACs and they just have to go for installation. So that is it from the living room side. Now uh, I will explain to you about the balcony. This balcony was already there in the flat but the biggest challenge for this balcony was uh, the flat below our side has a terrace and the terrace has been covered. So there was a roofing which was done uh, by the people who are staying below. Uh, the roofing, definitely the roofing spread is a huge one. So what happens is there is a lot of dust and dirt which is visible from the living room which gives a very unpleasing effect. So that is how my challenge of you know covering that was the biggest thing which I wanted to arrive. So that is how I decided to you know have had a raised wall. So the wall if you see is a raised one. I purposely gone for a seating space so that the view of uh, you know the dirt is completely cut off. So what you see is just the plain greenery which is very pleasing to eyes. At the same time you have an entire length of the seating uh, bench. So it becomes so comfortable that you know, in the evenings you, it is a very 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 comforting part to have such a kind of big seating. So uh, family functions or gatherings or even when you want to just have your own space to work, this becomes a good add-on. So now for this seating I have used a tile, I have used vitrified tiles for the back as well as for the base and for the uh, uh, upstand as well. So uh, because it is a vitrified tile, the nosing or the molding what we have achieved is a very uh, sharp one, I mean very smooth one, it is not at all sharp and it is giving that perfect blend so that it is very much comforting when you sit, it is not at all painful. The colour which I have obtained is a greyish one with a pigmentation of white which is again going with the marble floor. So the marble and uh, the tile again camouflages in such a way that it gives a very good blend. Now, uh, this is the arrangement which I have done for the seating. Now, if you just focus on the top, we have gone for PVC ceiling. We have gone for, like, purposely we have opted for PVC because this is the balcony area. Uh, there are chances of water slipping in or, you know, the chances of leakage as well. So, we had actually roofed the play, uh, like, the entire premises, uh, the entire stretch of the balcony has been roofed with uh, the use of profile uh, sheets by Jindal and below that we have gone for a PVC fall ceiling so there are just two lights so the lights also I have used three in one which has the effect of white it has the effect of natural and it has the effect of warm white so there is a provision of a fan as well so the entire seating becomes very comfortable plus there is a provision of a switch socket so in case if somebody wants to work there the charging or the mobile charging or the laptop charging becomes easier and you can comfortably enjoy the you know peace and serenity while working at the same time your work is uh, unhindered because of having an electrical connectivity so this is how the balcony design was done uh, the grill you see was the old grill. I have just revived the grill by uh, having some strong connect 
and some patches and uh, there are like uh, it was only the paint which i had to redo it so i've gone for black paint because that is what uh, was since it was old green which was revived the entire uh, grill was not a new one so i had not gone for a new shade i opted for the black paint black paint which will uh, definitely help me serve my purpose so that's it for the balcony and the living room for my side thank you all your response on all my videos are uh, making me feel so very great i just can't express thank you so very much for all your love and support bye bye